These girls are getting ready for a big party. Their guiding unit celebrates its 100th birthday this weekend, so they're getting their creative juices flowing and making a menu of soft drinks, which will go towards one of their next badges, Mixology. Activities like this demonstrate how the organisation has evolved over the years and it's this ability to diversify that's kept girls coming back. We like like doing our badges, like vlogging is one of them and like or something like that or mixology which we've just done there. One of my favourite ones is, um, I don't know if Lucy's got it, but the baking badge. We baked uh, one cake and um, biscuits and it was really fun. My favourite one's probably the Century of Women's Vote Challenge because we got to learn about a generation of ladies fighting for us to vote. Why is guides a good thing for, for young girls to come along to? What's good about it? Because they're not like with like all the loud annoying boys and like it's just like a nice place for girls to just hang out I guess. Yeah it's it'll, in guides you can make like lots of good friendships there. Girl guiding began in the UK in 1910 after a group of young women appeared at a boy scout rally in London and campaigned for similar opportunities for themselves. Every county in Scotland is represented too including Orkney, Shetland and the Western Isles. Soon there were hundreds of units across the country and camps like this gave girls a chance to learn outdoor skills. They were encouraged to challenge and push themselves, opportunities that were never previously available to them. It was during the 50s and 60s that Jennifer was a brownie and a guide in Galashiels and she says back then things were quite different. We had to always have inspection. Your belt, we had leather belts with buckles, your buckle had to be shiny and you had a shiny uh, badge on your tie. And our tie was a, a Windsor knot and straight down there. And that got inspected, your nails, your colour of your hands and your teeth. That was one of the things I do remember and I do remember how strict it was. Those here say the organisation has moved with the times, though its core values to encourage and inspire young women remain unchanged. Some of the things that girls did a hundred years ago we're still doing today. They maybe just look a, a little bit different. So, for instance, girls at 1920 would have probably learned things like semaphore to communicate, whereas guys today can do vlogging badges. Um, they would have learned home skills and very much what would have been at that time the skills that they needed for life and now it's still life skills probably just much more for the modern age so it's constantly evolved and changed as girls have evolved and changed. On Sunday 200 guides will come to Galashiels for the birthday celebrations and through the decades though these faces may have changed their expressions certainly haven't. So leaders here say they must be doing something right. Claire McNeil, ITV News, Galashiels.